Hey, what is going on guys? Tobin Short here. Make sure you guys check out heroesfinancialgroup.com. Also check out the Facebook page. And if you could, give this video a like, maybe a comment or two. Also hit the subscribe button and maybe also share it with a few of your friends and family members. Maybe like brother, sister, aunt, uncle, mom, dad, um, your cousins. Maybe your neighbors, uh, maybe even watch it with your cat or your dog or a pet rock. I don't know. No, that, I think I think that counts as a view, right? That's that'd be pretty cool. But anyway, yeah. Thanks a lot. So in this video, I want to talk about how you guys can make more money, All right? But before we get into that, um, I just want to make sure I don't waste any of you guys' time, right? I respect your time. Um, you know, I value my time, so I value yours as well. So. If you guys are here for you know in order to see or learn you know what specific side hustles or businesses you guys can do in order to make more money that's not what this video is actually about right there's plenty of other videos out there right now already on YouTube there's plenty of uh, Google articles as well that you can um, find online um, but for now actually this video is more about the mindset of successful people you know how they go about and think about making more money so first thing I want to talk about when it comes to the mindset of making more money um, and um, and being being able to um, buy things, right? Especially with the holidays coming up, I am sure everyone is looking for ways to make more money so they can buy a bunch of Christmas presents. Okay, so I want to take a page, or I mean, not necessarily a page, but you know, uh, something from Robert Kiyosaki's um, Rich Dad Poor Dad. Right? I'm I'm sure you guys, have, or at least the majority of you, have heard of that book and read it or had like some sort of a video summary of it right but so there's he had two different types of dads right two different dads one always had the thinking of i can't afford something okay i can't afford it right i'm sure that's something that you guys have said before very very familiar with that phrase from maybe some parents your parents right or maybe maybe even like a, a spouse or something like that right and I'm sure you're very tired of hearing that. I'm sure you're very tired of even if, even you thinking that way, okay? So what I want you to be able to do is think like his um, rich dad, right? And think of how you can afford something, right? So go from I can't afford thinking to how can I afford it thinking, right? So that's the first thing um, I want you to kind of uh, to, to do and think about, okay? So the next thing I'm going to be talking about is um, the cash flow quadrant, right? So uh, I'm going to put that up here somewhere, maybe over here. I don't know, but it'll, it'll be up here somewhere, right? So you know how it is, like the E for employee, right? Uh, S for self-employed, okay? Um, B for business owner, and then I for investor, right? So those are the four things that you can do and you can be in order to have and bring in cash flow, right? You can either be an employee, self-employed, business owner, or investor, okay? So that's another thing I wanna bring up and because I'm gonna be talking about that um, a bit as well. So making more money, right? So there's many, many different ways, there's many, many different opportunities out there in today's age in order for people to go out and make more money these days, right? There's just more and more all the time, but yet there's so many people that Think there isn't enough or that there there just isn't any opportunities for them out there okay so that's that's another form of thinking right that you're kind of a, have that scarcity mindset right but in actuality there's an abundance of opportunities right so I'm gonna talk about a few different ones right so the first is um, making more money as an employee okay so I'm sure many of you guys are very familiar with this concept and many very familiar with of course the first way that you can bring in more money Right, so you can go, go buy that new PS Five, right? <laughs> for for whoever, for yourself, right? And you, you, you're definitely not letting your kids play that if if you buy that, right? You you're gonna play it yourself. But anyway, okay. The first way that you can make more money, okay, work more hours, right? You can ask your manager, your boss, your employer, right, whoever. So if you can work more hours, um. Or you know get some overtime right so that's that's the first way you can make more money okay personally uh, I'm not such a great way right because what you're trading more of your time for money okay um, yeah, that's all right that's all right right uh, I'm not a fan of it right I've done it before it's just 
um, obviously, as I've uh, grown and um, learned new things, right, it's not the best way, right? But for some of us, you know, it's maybe the only way you know of, okay? So you, you, can, you can go and work more hours, trade more time, more of your time for, for that cash, right? Um, the next thing is, of course, you can ask for a raise, okay? Again, as an employee, you can ask for a raise, you can ask for, for a promotion, right? Some of us, some of you guys, you, you may be told that, hey, you need to have uh, this many years um, in this position or have these positions before this experience, right? Before you can get a raise or before you can work this uh, higher position uh, in this company, okay? Or maybe even like, hey, you need to get the certification or you need to get this degree, right? So again, um, hey, that, that works for many people. It could work for you, right? Um, not my personal favorite. I, again, I've, I've done it before, but you know, yeah, not, not so great, right? Because hey, if you have to go to school, if the company is not paying for it, right? And it's on your own dime, now you're, you're using money, right? To maybe, maybe get um, a few more extra dollars an hour, um, you know, a few extra thousand in your salary, right? Maybe, which may not be so worth it because of the loans that you might end up having, right? You might have the extra baggage of loans or, um, all right, you if you're you're splitting up your time between work and school, okay. Now you're not working, and so guess what? You now you're not earning more money, right? You're not earning any money. You're you're just going to school and studying, right? And plus, how long is it going to take for you to to finish to finish up the licensing or or um or the school or the degree that you're going for, right? So if if that's the route you want to take or you can't take, okay, it's Definitely a viable option, but again, uh, not not the best, right? Not not the best specifically in in my opinion. Okay, so those are some of the ways you can make more money as an as an employee, right? Um, another way actually that you can make some more money, some extra cash as another as an employee is being an employee of another company. Okay, getting another job, getting another uh, part time job, maybe even a third part time job, right? Um, again, for some people, that can work, okay? But once again, you know, you're, you're spending a lot of time away from home. You're spending a lot of time away from things that um, you enjoy more, right? You know, unless, unless you really, really, really enjoy your job or the jobs that you have, okay? And some people do, right? But I'm willing to bet that, you know, mo most of you guys don't, right? It's, it's just a, the, from my experience, right, um, from being out in the civilian world and working a few different jobs and then going to the Navy and then doing that stuff, right, a lot of people really aren't satisfied with, with what they're actually doing, okay, so, but it pays the bills, right, it pays the bills. So the next way that you can make more money, right, is going to be the next quadrant when you're self-employed, okay, so when you're self-employed, you are now... Um, working on your own terms, right? You're making money and making that income, making that cash money under your own terms, on your own time, right? For the most part, okay? Other than, um, I guess, just whenever people buy from you and, and buy your services, right? But a lot of it is, you know, if, if you want to make money or not, okay? You got to go out there and work, right? But it's all on your schedule. You're not clocking in, you're not clocking out. You're not being told you can't work. You're not being told... Um, you have to work, you have to come in, and not being told that, you know, you, you're, you're worth this much an hour, right? Okay, you're not, you're not being told when you can go, go have a lunch break, and then, you know, clock out for that lunch break, right? When you're self-employed, a lot of it is more of on your schedule, you have your own schedule, you don't have a boss, you are your own boss, right? So, and you can work where you want, how you want, whenever you want, okay? That's the perks of being self-employed, right? You're now a 1099 worker. W two, you also have the different uh, tax deductions and all that. So, so now you're you're making money uh, on your own on your terms, right? And you can either not work and not make money, or you can go out and do your thing and and make money, right? Right? But not on an hourly basis. Okay, um, I don't know. I've probably said that a million times, but you know, you're 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 working for yourself, right? So. But the thing is, okay, you're, 
you're self-employed, you don't have a boss, but you're still really technically still just an employee of yourself, right? You're your own employee, okay? So the next thing and the next quadrant you want to be in, right, in order to make more money and especially make money passively and making that passive uh, residual, residual income is as a business owner, okay? You want to get and step up move up to that next quadrant, uh, the B quadrant, where you're a business owner, right? So um, think of it this way. If I were to open up a gym, right, whatever it may be, right, a store, or let's just say a gym, okay? And I was the only worker there. I was the only one there. I'd have to do the check-ins. I'd have to do enrollments. I'd have to uh, watch the place. i have to um, clean it up and put things away, right? So... You know, I'm, I'm still self-employed, but I own a gym. Okay, cool, awesome. All right, but if you hire employees, okay, now you're a real business owner um, and you don't really have to work in the business. You can work on the business and you can also go do other things because you know what? You have people there to take care of things and do all those things that I just mentioned, right? Um, for one, right, you are, um, you're, you're providing the service to people, okay, the, the gym, right you're also now providing employment for others okay so that's that's another thing with being a business owner right you're you're actually affecting other people uh, even more because you're providing employment for them right so that's that's the that's being a business owner is now a million times better than being just self-employed right and then of course the top la, la, top of the line right the top tier um, where you really want to be, right, is you want to be you want to be part of the Shark Tank, right? You want to be an investor. You want to be, you know, one of those guys like Damon John and Mark Cuban, okay? Um, don't want to go too much into detail on this, right? But being an investor should be everyone's ultimate goal, okay? It's to own parts of companies, especially startups and um, investing in, in startup companies. And then, you know, that's that's how you actually make a lot of money and you, you, you have an impact, right? Um, the people that make the most money are the ones that help others build their businesses and help others make more money, right? Think of uh, Jeff Bezos, okay, richest man right now, right? He he created Amazon, okay, and then he helped a bunch of other people become millionaires by letting them sell on his platform, okay? Um, he's not a direct investor, but you know that that's kind of a that same thought there he's tech technically he is an investor because you know he let them um use his platform and he's taking cuts of you know parts of their profit but he, he's although he's profiting and he's making money all those people that are using amazon um to sell their stuff have made millions and billions of dollars as well okay so investor that is definitely where you want to get to okay so again you can make, make more money as an employee, being self-employed, as a business owner, as a, and as an investor, right? And then you want to always think about how you can afford things. What can you do in order to afford something, right, that, that you want, need, okay? And and uh, just you guys just got to change that mindset, right? Coming from I can't afford this to how can I afford it? What can I do? Okay, what else can I do outside of the 9 to 5? What else can I do? Um, outside of um, what what I'm doing now in my 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 business, where I'm doing everything, right? And what can I do to continue to level up and step up and and become better and you know do more things, um, and have more freedom, have more time, you know, have more money even to make to make an to make an impact. All right. So, hope you guys took something away from this video. I hope you guys learned something. I hope I brought value, right? Um, don't forget, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe, share this video as well. I really appreci appreciate you um, if you go and do that. I appreciate you anyway if you stuck around and watched this video and um, watch me wave my hands around and do whatever, right? Um, but, but yeah, thanks guys and you know, happy holidays. Have a good day.